Innovation isn't always loud. Sometimes it's a strip of material, a panel assembled off-site, or a mesh hidden under the soil. Small details, quiet, practical, but together they change how we build the world around us. Our first example is a practical material designed specifically for roof ceiling. Flexim Roof Mortar is a putty-like compound used in construction since 1985. It comes pre-cut in convenient strips, ready to place along different roof elements. And leak prevention isn't its only purpose. It can seal gaps between corrugated sheets and tighten joints around chimneys or transitions. Flexum works straight out of the box, letting installers finish the job much faster. It also withstands wide temperature changes from minus 25 to plus 60 degrees Celsius. And for many homeowners, the color options are a welcome bonus, especially when the material blends cleanly with shingles. Next, let's look at a roof solution that brings light and function together. Roof Light is a practical skylight system designed for pitched roofs. It adds natural daylight to the home while keeping the original roof shape unchanged. The low profile design sits neatly on the surface, so the roof still looks clean and natural. It works with slopes from around 17 to 60 degrees, and the size can be customized from small openings to larger formats. And for older or heritage buildings, the system uses special gaskets to keep the roof line smooth and consistent. Blinds can also be added if needed, manual or motorized. The next solution is built for soil stabilization, where slope strength is the main concern. Propex Scour Lock is a reinforced mesh system used to stabilize slopes and embankments. It combines a polypropylene grid with fill material like soil or sand. The mesh locks the soil in place, creating a stable surface where vegetation can take root. The material is made from a high durability polypropylene blend, engineered for extreme loads in a service life of up to 200 years. The system also works reliably underwater, making it suitable for riverbanks and shoreline protection. And in many projects, builders can use local soil as the fill, saving both time and cost. When a site needs separation without stopping the work, a temporary wall becomes essential. Temporary wall systems builds modular panels that go up fast and keep the space clean. They're used on construction sites, but also in hospitals and other areas that must stay operational. The panels form a solid, opaque barrier, so workers and staff can continue without disturbing each other. The system has even appeared in stadium projects, creating protected corridors so players can move without distractions. Each panel can be customized with add-ons, windows, doors, code lock access, or dedicated ventilation modules. The three-layer design Aluminum at the front, galvanized steel at the back, and a polyurethane core keeps the walls lightweight, durable, and ready for repeated use. Prefab solutions don't end inside the building. They're also transforming how brick facades are installed. Engineers at Stoffix developed a convenient factory-finished brick cladding system at its core are metal support plates that can hold almost any brick type. These sandwich-style panels weigh as little as 37 kilograms per square meter, one of the lowest figures in the category. The system has no stated height limitations, and to simplify installation, each brick is mounted and bonded at the factory. So the panels arrive on-site ready to use in nearly any weather. Brick colors, sizes, and surface patterns can all be customized to the client's preference. And Stofix mounting guides leave enough space for insulation behind the panel. Prefab doesn't stop at surfaces. Some companies are now building entire facades off-site. 
UPB is one of the leading industrial groups in the Baltic region, supporting projects from early design all the way to installation. Their portfolio includes major buildings like Sweden's Grid 17, a 5,900 square meter complex featuring two rooftop terraces. For this project, U, PB supplied key facade elements made from prefabricated concrete sandwich panels. A similar approach is being used for the Maria Elizabeth Hospital in Denmark, an eight-story building scheduled for completion in 2027. Each facade block arrives on site already equipped with glass, wiring, ventilation ducts, and fire safety modules, reducing installation time and keeping exterior quality consistent across the entire structure. A practical solution for large concrete floors, the TS6200E is a concrete screening machine designed for wide, open areas. It spreads sand evenly, vibrates the concrete for proper compaction, and collects excess material, all in a single pass. Despite its industrial size, the body is clean and compact, making it easier to maneuver indoors. The electric version uses four batteries that power the machine for about 11 hours, covering up to 4,500 square meters on a single charge. With no exhaust fumes and far less noise than fuel-powered units, the TS6200E is a practical upgrade for projects that need both performance and a cleaner job site environment. Not every useful technology is new. Some have proved themselves over time. Roller Compacted Concrete, or RCC, is one of those long-standing methods. It uses a stiff concrete mix that can be placed with an asphalt paver, then compacted with rollers to create a dense, durable surface. The result is a roadway that can open to traffic in about three days. RCC often serves as a strong base layer under asphalt, but it's also tough enough to act as the main pavement for heavy-duty routes. The mix reaches impressive strength, around five megapascals in bending and more than 55 in compression all without steel reinforcement. And because the process is efficient, RCC roads generally cost less to build than traditional asphalt, which is one reason concrete makes up more than half of U.S. roadways. We're in Cupertino, California, not far from the well-known Circular Apple Campus, stand a series of aging concrete silos Visible cracks and surface defects show that these structures needed major reinforcement. The solution used here was carbon fiber wrapping with Rhino Carbon Fiber CFRP strips. The installation team had a demanding job using about 946 liters of epoxy adhesive and roughly 557 square meters of carbon fiber material. But the upgrade pays off. CFRP provides very high tensile strength is resistant to corrosion, and helps the silos gain long-term structural support. This next solution focuses on precision bridge construction. Perry's Varioket Balance Cantilever Systems is designed for casting bridge segments with stable, repeatable accuracy. Each segment is about five to six meters long and can weigh several hundred tons depending on the project. Its modular frame adapts to curved or slightly twisted bridge shapes, keeping the structure aligned with the design. Built-in automation helps manage key adjustments during stressing and alignment. And when combined with PER iLifts and work platforms, the workflow becomes safer and noticeably smoother on site. UltraCore is one of the largest and most durable corrugated steel systems in the world. It's used for wide underpasses, road crossings, and large span engineering structures. One major example is the WD-10 project in Poland, stretching about 92 meters in length and 26 meters in width. Projects of this scale earned UltraCore the place in the Guinness World Records, recognizing it as one of the largest structures ever built with corrugated steel. The system handles heavy loads, supports complex shapes, and can be installed in temperature ranges from minus 50 to plus 50 degrees Celsius. Its strength and reliability make it suitable for highways, rail infrastructure, and long-term earthworks where durability is critical.
Azure Printed Homes offers a faster and more sustainable way to build. Instead of concrete, their houses are 3D printed from recycled plastic, light, durable, and ready for mass production. An 84 square meter unit costs around $200,000, about 30% cheaper than traditional construction. Printing is quick too. Some components take only a few days, cutting build time by up to 70%. And every 11 square meters of housing reuses material equal to roughly 100,000 plastic bottles.